Hi folks, Dom here from Essential RC, about to maiden flight the FMS 1.5 meter P47 Thunderbolt Bonnie. This is a seriously good looking plane, there's so much scale detail on this, uh, as, you, as you can see. If you want to come up closer, Trevor, yep. you can see the, the panel detail, the whole scheme, it's all pre-applied, all the, the, the stickers have been pre-applied. Um, Really, really nice. And even if you look underneath, you can see all the, these just clip on very oh, yeah. easily. You've got the, uh, the external tank that just slides on. They've even painted inside the inside green. of the wheelbase. I was just going to say, actually, that's a nice little touch. Cause that's it the sort is. Of thing you don't really see that often, is it? No. Nope. So. No, FMS are getting better and better. Have to say all this scale detail. Add that onto the fact that in in the box, you you take it out of the uh, you take the lid off the box, and everything is, you know, put really nicely into the box. The box is designed specifically to make sure nothing can move around, get damaged in transit. And then you take it out, and there are so few components. This literally bolts together in about ten minutes. And then all you've got to do is put your receiver inside it. So I'm using an FR Sky X8R, not the S8R, the stabilised one using the X8R because this has the reflex gyro system in it already so you can make use of those two modes the stabilized and the optimized modes or just turn it off altogether I just fly in optimized mode just to take out the turbulence if there is any and it's about 10 miles an hour today um, what else to point out it has a retractable tailwheel as well as well as the mains obviously so it looks totally clean when it's flying along after you've taken off it's a seriously, seriously good looking model. So flying it, it's going to be interesting to see what power it has. In here I've got a, uh, a 6S 6000 pack from George at 4MAX. Really good 60C packs deliver the power consistently, cycle after cycle, charge after charge. Really good packs, so I highly recommend those. The one thing about this is the uh, if I've only have it, had it on the pits as well, but the battery is put on a uh, tray that you slide in and out. It's really important that when you strap that battery onto that tray with the two Velcro straps, make sure it can't move, but then you slide that tray in. Make sure it engages properly in the clips, because if you don't do that, and you, the first time you do a loop, it's going to slide to the back of the fuselage and your CG will be way out. So just please make sure it really is firmly in there and it doesn't move. But otherwise, I think we're ready to go for this, this maiden flight. Let's see how it goes. All right, let me just turn everything on, Trev. Important that you let it cycle, or sorry, initialize the gyro, the reflex gyro, before you do anything. So you saw it do it there. It just does a test on each of the control surfaces, and then you're ready to go. Just have a quick look in there, Trev. You can see my X8R and the gyro really clean setup. And all I do is I tidy up the cables with just some very small cable ties, just to make it a bit tidier. Very neat. Very neat. I'm impressed. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I didn't used to do that. Mm, do you lay the dishwasher used that to... neat? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yeah. Uh. I do. Years of training. I've been married for 30 years. I still can't do it right. <laughs> Double check everything before you go for it. The wind is, I think, coming up the hill today, so... <laughs> Keeping full up elevator to make sure the tail stays on the ground while I taxi. And you can see it's quite light on the tail. It's got quite a nice sound from the propellers, isn't it? Yeah, four blade, it's a scale four blade, so really nice, yeah. Nice. So ground control really good with that steerable tail wheel like that. So I think we're ready to go. Mm, that looks amazing. So, 
Now we've got quite a wind. Selection of flaps is quite important on uh, windy days. So I'm going to not use any flap for this takeoff. I reckon it will get off quite quickly without it. That sounded like uh, that was hardly any throttle as well. Yeah, it wasn't. That was less than half throttle to get off the ground, and that was with no flap. If I'd had flap, that would have got into the air quicker and potentially stalled. Power. Nice. Certainly looks like you're enjoying it. Yeah, it's good. I can tell that as soon as it took off. Yeah. Even in this wind, fantastic. down on this path. Okay. A lot of wind so I'm gonna cut the circuit short, go to full flat. Damn. Oh, I spoke too soon. No, that wasn't me. Yeah, sorry, I must have jinxed you. They're all laughing over there. Uh, There's a hole here. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what do you reckon? Look! Proof. Okay. There was I'm, a... I'm blaming that on a rabbit. What do you reckon? Should we let him have that one? You should do. Yeah, there was a hole there. I could see it. So there you go. That is an amazing warbird. I'd say out of the box, five minutes to put it together, put in a 6S 6000 LiPo in that tray, put in a, an eight channel receiver and it, it flies absolutely fantastic. Controlling with my Radio Master TX16S using the FR Sky protocol. Absolutely brilliant. So that's it for this Essential RC flight test. Thanks to Trev on camera. 
be back soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Brilliant. That sounded like 